Jesse Smollett's story has gotten more complicated. Natural hair is legal in New York City, so stay tuned. Welcome to What's the 4 in 1, your smart source for urban, lifestyle, and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Cox. I'm Onika McLean, and guess what? We're back from hiatus. Yes, we are, girl. And you've been doing big things. I've been seeing you doing your comedy. I'm right. trying to stay all man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you guys gotta check her out. She's hilarious. Um, but you know what's not hilarious? What? It's not hilarious. <laughs> you know what's not hilarious? Messy, messy, messy trio. <laughs> Jordan Woods, Tristan Thompson, Chloe Kardashian. Oh, the- that whole mess. Um, so do you know you know the latest that what happened, right? So yes. I mean, okay, for, for those at home who are not across the Kardashian news. So basically, you know, Tristan cheated on Khloe Kardashian like over a year ago when she was pregnant and all that stuff. Right, right, right. I remember and, that. Right. And so the latest thing is now Jordan Woods, who's best friends with Wait, her is sister. He, is he a black uh, sports figure? Yes. Oh, okay. You know what? Stop. So Jordan Woods, who's best friends with Kylie Jenner, who is Khloe Kardashian's sister, right? It turns out that Jordan had some some intimacy with Tristan Thompson. But not really. That's what she says. Everybody, well, everybody thought that she had slept with him and then she went on a red table talk with Jada Pinkett Smith yes, and, and she that said she, that she, she didn't, did that he kissed her and that's all it was and she said there was no tongue. But she said and he kissed she, her goodbye. On the lips. And then she felt funny and she left and she was like, I just wanted to put it out of my head. I didn't want to, I, I wanted to act like it didn't happen. And I told them that I went to his house but I left out the kiss part, okay. and 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 that was how all okay, that. Okay, Chloe, stop. <laughs> like, just stop, girl. Just stop. How, first of all, how would she get him? Did she take him from somebody else? Um, like, she wasn't the other girl pregnant with somebody yeah. when she, they got together. I'm just saying. How you got him is how you lose him, right? Yeah, and yeah. leave the little girl alone. Like, the whole country is dragging her. Like, what is happening? It was hard. It was hard. What Twenty-one year old. By they the way. kicked it, and then she got kicked out of her best friend's house. Like she's been living. What but think about this. There? I don't but, know. but the thing is, I mean, if that's your sister, though, you're gonna be caping for your sister. You you're not no gonna choice. be caping for your no, no, your no, bestie. No. You know, but she's you gonna no, get kicked out. But you out, have but. no choice. But all I'm saying is, when I listen to her recant her side of the story, it, it just seemed like they were having a whole party night, and then. A bunch of women went back to his house, and they were all like partying. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's their real lifestyle. And so she would know, she meaning Chloe would know what that is. You know what I mean? Like, okay, what else? I get it. It's your baby's father. Yeah, I I, I think it was, it's definitely messy. And and her response, mm-hmm. her immediate response, Chloe's response was out of pocket in my opinion because she said oh my god you did break up our family you broke up our family jordan she did tweet that but that's a lie um, exactly because exactly. that because that family was broke up and when you got him you were broke when you got him <laughs> broke at kardashian like they- stop with the nonsense like i just like anything's before the show starts it's always right before the show starts y'all got this stuff going on you know damn. kanye with his damn church like i'm you know what <laughs> I'm just sick of these goddamn Kardashians. With Listen, this stuff. They, it's, it's crazy. But yeah. Leave that little girl alone. She's 21 years old. If she would have hurt herself, then everybody would be like, oh my God. Something like yeah. sometimes the public needs to just. Yeah, pump and, their and, it, and people pointed out, like, why are you blaming her when it was him? Yeah. And he's the one who's married and to he's you. Saying, and he's the one And he's saying nothing. Behind. Right. Of but course. I just want to say one thing about him. He is fine. Woo! He is fine. You know okay. You know what? I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. This is this is, a, this is a family show. He's so not fine. I don't fine. want I any of that. Fine. I don't want to hit. No. You I'm don't think he's cute? cute? He's cute, but I don't want any. I'm gonna not say nothing else. But she came to her senses. Oh, you don't want nothing that been in that Kardashian <laughs> curse. I don't want none of that. You lose all your edges. <laughs> you be like, well, edges just left. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, Chloe came to her senses, later said, you know what, no, Tristan Thompson is the one, is why our, our marriage broke up and our relationship broke up, and I should not have blamed Jordan for that. She just heard. So, so you know, this whole story, like, I want to know, why is it that we bring down the wrath on the woman instead of the man? Oh, that's who you could be. <laughs> <laughs> that's who you could be. Like, some of these dudes give zero amps. 
about nothing. They'd be like, sorry, I'm fresh out of F's. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I'm mad at you. So your they, pockets, they don't care. Like like, like, so, so sometimes that's who you can attack. You right. want to attack. You hurt. Hurt people want to attack. And sometimes mm. that's all you can attack as a woman. And that's what we do. I think you got a good point there. I got yeah. She's an easy. She's an easy target. Right, right. And you can right get him right. later. You don't know when you can get her. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> As an old, dejected wife. Oh, stop a the madness. I oh. always went after the girl. Because I wasn't going to leave him alone. <laughs> so I'm just going to make you think that I was crazy. Eventually, you'd be like, mm, let him go. Ah, you're crazy. A lot of women think like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think you got a good point. Gussie Smollett. Jussie. Jussie. <laughs> Why do keep saying Gussie? My daughter keeps saying, you know that's a J, Ma, right? And I'm like. Yeah, I know it's a J. Oh, okay. Hmm. Mm, things that make you go, hmm. Right. So, wait a minute. So, he got indicted for 16 counts, felony charges, like in Cook County. What's wrong with Cook County grand jury? 16 um, counts? What I don't, kind of counts? I don't understand it. They're saying for every single lie he told, basically, they're giving him a felony count. No, because wait, I let's count the lies. Let's count the lies. Mm. The MAGA hat. <laughs> the, the gay slur, the black slur, the bleach, the noose, the, noose, the two Nigerians. Because he don't use Nigerians. Why do you use them? Oh, get, my God. Why actors? But you know what? You know one thing that he did say? He said he had given them a $3,500 check, remember? Uh -huh. And then the prosecutor said that was actually for the attack, payment for the attack. You know one of the brothers came out and said, no, that was for training. He gave us that for training. And, that now, you be, and now you believe these brothers that would do, do, do the attack. I, I like, don't stop like putting things on. No, like, I, mm. I'm just saying there's a lot of, of elements in this and people keep you changing know what stories happened? and all that stuff. This so is what happened. Crazy. He, you do, he did too much. When I first heard the story, <laughs> I was like, that's not how race attacks work. Like you, everybody, you don't have all the stuff. You don't <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't have oh, all wow. the stuff. Right? It wow. just kind of just like happens, mm -hmm. happenstance. It's not like all, all you need is hate in your heart. And mm -hmm. then you can, you can, you so know, you were like the news and the slur I was like, and the bleach. No, and the, you I kept like, saying, who walk around with bleach? Well, what <laughs> they was going to do with the bleach? Make them white? <laughs> See what I'm oh, saying? The thing, wow, what are you doing wow. with the bleach? <laughs> what was the bleach for? Oh my God. You know what I'm trying to say? It just felt like a, a Lee Daniels written episode is what. You know what? Not for nothing. And did you see that that alleged letter, that that hate letter that he's that they said he sent to himself, and it was like cut out from a newspaper. All the little like see words. what I'm saying? That just looked like this so kid famous. needed a hug. That's millennial <laughs> stuff. Because let me tell you something. People my age, when they tell a lie, it ain't no whole lie. Like millennials go all the way to the left. Y'all got too much time on that you damn Twitter. The 44 characters. I can't Stop. take it with y'all. I'm just Stop. saying. But it is. Overkill. Do you think that that is overkill? I think it is absolutely overkill. Absolutely overkill. Mm -hmm. They should not be 16 felony counts. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, and They're trying to make yeah. him go to jail. Now, he can't go to jail. He didn't do anything to go to jail. He just, he's, he's too pretty to go to jail. He's too pretty to go to jail? Yeah. That's that. That'd be bad. It would be bad for you, Jesse. I'm sorry. Just, just saying. That's so sad. Um, Queen Latifah said that she's holding out to to get more evidence. I don't know what a blind <laughs> Ray Charles probably got, came from a, his grave. Like what, Queen Latifah? If you can't see this, you's a you's a Stephen Wonder. Like move, Queen. <laughs> no, I can see a lie. Who else is blind? Who else is blind that I know? I don't know that many blind. Helen Keller. Helen <laughs> Keller would be like, Queen Latifah, you don't stop this bullshit. Bring bullshit. Helen Keller back from the grave. Come Helen on. Keller. <laughs> Helen Keller. Was Anne Frank blind? No. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Somebody. So ridiculous. So ridiculous. <laughs> um, But I did think that it was right that he got cut from the last two episodes. I don't think I so. I don't I think, think it was a good thing. Because you know what I think? What? I, I I promise you, I'm afraid to say it, but you know what? It just seemed like Lee Daniels had a little something to do with this. I just no, yeah. how you know why? Know that. Because Lee Daniels has that creative blood spirit. Like mm -hmm. Gussie's not a um Jussie. Jussie is not a writer. Like I'm like an old lady. I'm like Gussie. What's the boy <laughs> name? What's the boy name? No, I don't, you know what it is. I don't. I I think that it I was don't a think distraction. They should, I, I don't think, think. I don't think that they should cut him. Because well, they he's not, not been proven guilty, and I think that if he's not been proven guilty, keep let that boy keep his job. Well, they have not fired him. 
they just removed him from the final two episodes of this particular season. And I think they're right because he's become a distraction. Like they, there's actually acrimony on set because some people are like, you know, this dude's a scam artist who was supporting him and he's lying. And then others are like, no, 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 he's innocent. This happened. And so it's creating tension on the set. Is it so really? you got it. Yes, it is. Oh, man. So I think that Jesse needs to, to sit out these two episodes and we'll see what happens with the. I told the court. I didn't want to pay him his $20,000 because I heard he get $20,000 an episode. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's in his contract, so I'm sure there's something in there. But yeah. But Lee Daniels, you know, he didn't pay um, a Dame and Dash oh, for his money. You know that's what I'm trying bad. to say? Oh, Lee my gosh. Lee Daniels with the Dame and Dash and his money. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, that you know what? You have to go there. You Look have at to. No, because you have to bring it all in. You know what I'm saying? Shady. The whole shade. The whole the shade. The are off in here. And Lee Dang. Daniels probably upset because I heard what he said on Instagram. He said that Gus. Jesse, Jesse, the man's name is Jesse. Jesse, Jesse. Je, Je, I don't know why I just name him Jesse. Jesse <laughs> is like a son to him, you know. Mm-hmm. That he feels like, you know, that's just like his little right you protege. Know, protege. So I don't know, but I do know that sixteen counts is a little bit overkill, and having it on television, the judge wants oh, to have it televised. Oh wow, like, the what? actual trial televised. That I don't know. That could backfire. Um, yeah, I don't know. But in other news. Another news. Like I said, Robert Kraft, you know, the, the owner of the New England Patriots. Mm-hmm. So he had a not so happy ending. Because he got busted. Because. <laughs> Wiener, I know Wiener's like, good for him. Good for him. <laughs> so for people who don't know at home, um, apparently he got arrested for soliciting prostitution at, a, at an Asian spa. You know, where they was giving him massages and he asked for a little bit more. And they didn't give it to him? Uh, no, I don't think Wait, so. did, did, did they advertise that? Like, how did he know not... He, he might have... wasn't going to... So what did they do, call the cops? What was he... Was it he was aggressive? a sting. It was a sting operation. So they... Uh, apparently, this is... This... Oh, so apparently they would do it there. Yeah. And so they were like, okay. So he got... And he got it's, caught up. He got caught up. So 20, unhappy. Twenty one Jump Street. They, they did a twenty one Jump. You remember twenty one um, Jump Street? Yeah, no. that's, yeah. Do. You do? Yeah, it's like eighties, oh. eighties, eighties. Don't early. say it like it stinks. She said eighties <laughs> like it's old. No, it, it is. <laughs> but um, I, 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 I yeah, it is. Okay. But you know, this is the thing though. Like, should we even be? prosecuting prostitution. I mean, prostitution is legal at certain brothels in Nevada. Prostitution in the Netherlands is, is legal. So is it time we just did away with all this, like, And they you have, know, like, a whole sex workers movement places sex workers project. Right. It's called Sex Workers Project. So, um, so should we be prosecuting prostitution? Right. But, but he, he, but he was, it was different. He was demanding a happy ending. That's kind of well, okay. Well, right. well, outside, <laughs> no. I mean, if they were, the thing is, if they were doing it there, because there's a reason why there was a sting at that particular place. Okay, so, so they clearly, were doing it there. Yeah, and they were doing it there. It was a, like a known place. Um, I don't know, but or suspected I mean, place. We shouldn't, we shouldn't uh, prosecute people that uh, smoke marijuana now, like, because that's becoming like a legal thing, right? Right. right. So Jersey is like recreational mm-hmm. use in Massachusetts. So I guess that we we change the laws, but it's the same thing. It's illegal now, so you prosecute when it's illegal. That's how it works. But my, okay. right? Well, my thing is, well, what? I think that it should be legal. <laughs> I think it should be legal. Right, and I what think, you trying to sell? I think, look, girl. What? <laughs> girl. Because so you can't sell it, can't give it away Listen, sometimes. No, the thing is, I think if, if they if they have a product that they are offering and people want that product, why shouldn't it be legal? I don't feel that way. I feel absolutely that way. And I think, you know what it is, too, and I think it's really fair with the, the prostitution laws anyway, is that the prostitute is usually the one that gets thrown in jail. The John. The traffic a, person, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, that's unfair. Well, the John in, well, the John in New York, right, and you guys can look this up, the John in New York, goes to John school. What? There's a John school. Yeah. There's what, a, what is that? What is that? So so what'll happen on a on a a, a Sunday, mm-hmm. you go they have all these men go into like a sensitivity training, mm-hmm. like don't solicit prostitutes. And that's what they have. I'm, you know I'm not making it up. John okay. they go to John school. And and I wanna say why they have it on a Sunday 
because of Hasidic Jews. But I know one of them come from my ex because mm -hmm. they are really, really big, big, big um, um no comment on purchaser that. of that. But when no you comment well, on Google, that at all. Google John School and then look at those videos. Google Gems, right? Uh, G E M S. So and uh, that's a, a, a girls' educational program and what they do is they stop they help the the girls transitioning from that life from prostitution and all that stuff they and they hide them from their pimps and they do all kinds it's it's a alternative to jail for a lot of oh, the that's, women that's really cool that's mm -hmm. a really cool thing but yeah mm -hmm. i think stopping all of that right and just making it legal that would remove one of those barriers anyway and giving them you know having them have this whole um, record and all of that, but, you don't make need that. It, but making it legal some of those girls are forced into those no those I'm absolutely style. not I'm, I'm saying I don't want anybody who doesn't want to be you know a prostitute or selling sex to be doing that right right, right. but those who want to think about Stormy Daniels right she's not a prostitute but she's a porn star right She's obviously she's well. A, she's not a prostitute, but she's a porn star. She's a porn star. She's selling sex. Well, that's my point. She's that's my point. That's what I'm saying. That's why she's not soliciting in the streets or what have you. So that or, makes or you a prostitute. Down. I mean, if you're yeah. selling a product, no matter if you sell it at Whole Foods or on the my, corner, you still selling gross. You sell it. You you the green grocer. You could just be the green grocer on Fulton Street, or you could be the. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just show. Yeah, up. I, okay, my point is, she's a porn star. She's selling sex to a degree, right, in, in some type of way, and she wants to do that. She's getting paid, and it's legal. Why is that any different from somebody who says, you know what, I want to sell my body X, Y, and Z. I want to do that. This person wants it. So and move get paid. to Nevada. That's move what I'm to saying. Nevada, like, why is it any different? Move what, to what Nevada. Is this, what is it it's different? not going to be yeah. legal in every state, right? So if it's not legal here, then people are going to go to jail for it. And if you want to do it and, you, you know, go to the Bunny Ranch or whatever, I like the bunny, the bunny ranch. Go to the bunny ranch and sell it there. I don't know. Oh I'm telling you. So under the new guidelines, right? Mm -hmm. So New York has this thing, right? So the the let me get it straight. New York City Commission of Human Rights uh, are stopping the targeting of your hairstyle. Right. They're, they're deeming it as uh, discrimination. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, wow. So in the first, my first onset, when I first thought about this, I was like, oh, that's dope. It's and then I was like, no, not really. It's just because white girls want to wear purple hair at work, and they don't want anybody to bother them about it. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah. Cause but everybody, everybody, look at the fines. Everybody, everybody. At the, fines. the commission is levying penalties to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on defendants that are found in violation of these guys. That's that's white girl appalled numbers. <laughs> 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 I said it's not for your dreads. It's not for your dreads. It's not for your dreads. The but yeah, but I'm, but so what? So your thing is, what are you saying? You're saying that you don't want this to be a law no, because you're saying that no, white people... No, no, that's not what I said. What, it's good that it's a law, right? Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes, you know, we all get under the guise of, you know, the, what's benefiting the majority because mm -hmm. that's what's happening. But let us know that that's what's happening. It, it, on the onset, it looks like, oh, they're so sensitive to dreadlocks now and braids in the work place. No, but it's because a lot of white women do a kind of crazy stuff with their hair now before it was unacceptable and now everybody is doing it. No, but no, but this statute is not that. This statute says this and this is what I was like, wow. Okay, this come on, let me see. The anti-black racism is an insidious and persistent form of discrimination across the nation and in New York City. So that's they put it very explicitly. Anti-black. Anti-black racism can be explicit and implicit individual and structural. It's because it Kardashian can wants to wear the Kardashian wants to wear cornrows. Okay. No. Okay. Well, that's the thing. They're they're talking specifically as know, it relates to black right, because people. now white women want to wear their hair exactly like us. I mean, so, so you're just saying so, they did it just because white women I'm, would benefit I'm, I'm from it? I'm telling you. I don't. I don't think. Okay. So. I don't think so. I think okay. it's because too many people have have really complained because this like not because this city not. cares about the complaints of black people. Oh, mm, I'm not saying they're not that getting I'm, shot. By the police. Now. I'm not saying that okay. all of those other things are not happening, but I am saying that, you know, progress is little by little. And there were a lot of people behind the scenes, I'm sure, lobbying for this. And it finally got passed. And it so for me, for the cops it's, shooting up, shooting the kids. Oh, oh, we, we're still, oh, we're still doing that. We're still doing that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, when I thought, I said, mm, and I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I am, actually.
actually okay. Keep keep listening. But to I'm but yeah yeah. So I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Now you can wear your hair all natural. I can wear my hair all natural anyway. Right before right. this law, happened. but some places you could not, and some when, places they would give some, you they would give you a problem, and when, that's why they felt when, like they had in to the put 80s, in. No, in the eighties, no, tell no. me when now. No, yes now. Uh huh. Yeah. Let me tell you something. We have um uh um newscasters, right? Yeah. Newscasters. We have like one with natural hair. Everybody else has like right because weaves, there's that pressure hair, but, mm-hmm. to 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 be very uniform and to conform to a certain white hair and, look. And that pressure is still going to be there. Yeah, but at least now they can't be fired. They can't be discriminated against based on it. That's the thing. And okay. I think when, that's and I think when that's the violations two hundred and fifty thousand dollar levy. That's yeah. That's white women prices. Okay, that's just my opinion. <laughs> what you talking about? But anyway, mm-hmm. so we mentioned it earlier in the show, but we got to bring it right on back. What? So we talked about Gail King's interview with R. Kelly, right? Mm. But let's talk about the two girlfriends. That's the interview we didn't talk about. Remember how after that interview, oh, they, they interviewed Remember? the two girlfriends, yeah, and the girlfriends were like, yeah, you know what it is? Our family and wants to sue him for money. They're trying to right, get right, money right. from him, and, and that's what they, that, that, that is, and that's why um, mm-hmm. they're, they're making all these lies and saying all these lies and allegations. Right. Okay. My thing is, you know, it really got me thinking, why is it that women, you know, particularly women who are in a situation such as the one with R. Kelly are out here supporting it, condoning it, defending it. I'm sorry. Say that. What are you saying? I'm saying that the women who the family is trying to save are out there actually saying, oh, you're oh, saying we're okay. the victims. Ab- absolutely. Okay, you're talking about vic- So I thought you meant supporting, meaning like buying his music and stuff. Okay. So there's that too. That's the second mm-hmm. part of the bit. Why, okay. do, why do you think? Why are they supporting him? Why are they they Why are they there? Do you they think have it's a, a it's Stockholm a, syndrome? What it's are you a, it's about? a brainwashing situation. It's not. They love him. They love him. That is their man. They mm. love him. I, I mean, they have to love him because nobody cut a single. Like nobody has have a mixtape. <laughs> nobody <laughs> the got an EP. The they no like nothing. Those girls, most of those women wanted to be singers. Wow, singers, and and they got caught up with R. Kelly and um. That's just a that's a syndrome. When you love somebody and 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 I, I, they love him, and that's the thing. But people are using them as proof that you know what. There's no problem there. They're lying. Not not the the women. Everybody else is lying. Well, guess and what? And they and they are using well, that we to defend have, them. We live in a culture where uh, children are sex trafficked. We Absolutely. live in a culture where children are violated sexually all the time. Uh, the Catholic Church, like like so many child brides, there are right. places in America that twelve year old pe- kid children get married to grown people every day. Like this is our culture. When when I, I work in Forty Second Street or Forty in, in Times Square, and the kids that are on the billboards that have on like panties and bras, you know, mm-hmm. they are twelve. And right. you got the gap showing. You're selling this. And then when people want to buy it, now we're appalled. Like, wow. what are you talking right. about here? Over-sexualization of yeah, children. Of yeah. children. Yeah. Of children. You are old at 20 and modeling. You Everybody has to be uber young. Like, Christy Brinkley was like freaking like 13 years old. Right. And, and, and right. come on. That is our society. Yeah. Like, 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 let's call a spade a spade. That's just what it is. Girls Absolutely. are... Girls are like hypersexualized at a very young age. Held out as kind of gifts to Mm -hmm. older men. That's crazy. I talked to this guy about this, and let me tell you what he said. He said, Any woman over 32 is elderly for me. And this guy's like 50 years old. Of course. I've heard I've heard it too. I've absolutely heard it too. Um, the thing is though, like why what what bothers me? Is that there are women who are defending this type of behavior? Excuse there me. There are women who say, "Oh my God, those girls are grown and and they're fast, and that's why they wanted to Excuse be with him me. anyway." Excuse and I'm me. like, "Are you Excuse serious?" Me. Excuse me. Excuse. Those women are raised in this culture. Those women are raised, and you have to think about it, especially during. They're so used to the trauma, no, they don't even but, recognize it as trauma. But that, so this is this is why right. being a millennial is so like 
freeing for you guys because I'm not a but okay. you're not a millennial. I've always I've always said that okay. I'm one year off, but you always lump me in. You always lump me. In. She's a millennial. It's freeing for you guys, <laughs> right? Because you guys assert this freedom, mm -hmm. this um, appalledness. You guys have wokeness. A, you guys have this energy that we hadn't been able to tap into because it was mm. crushed out of us, right? And so, of course, you're going to think like that, being fast, look at you, like like right. you, like you right. had to like stifle your sexuality as a woman and mm. if you and if you did like you know don't tap into it then you were grown and you were fast yeah. and you were a whore. And, so, and it was grown men preying on you. Right, right, but it's not even, even a praying thing because at a certain age we feel like uh, if she feels grown, then she is grown, and that's how we yeah, came and up it's in society. Okay, but right. if you, but this is not like my generation. This is not my this is gener generation. Generations this is, and generations this and generations. Is, this is, this is, uh, the start of our society. Exactly. This is just how it has been, exactly. and so you guys are thinking differently. And now we all got to turn and take a look at ourselves. And now older people are looking like, well, that's wrong too. What and, they don't, and they don't want to, and they don't because they're having difficulty you doing have, it. You will have difficulty yeah. doing that. Why wouldn't I have difficulty doing right. that? Every, not everybody, a lot of my girlfriends have been in very abusive relationships, have, 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 have. Older men, I, when I was yeah. in high school, older men were at our high school yes. all the time. Like, what are you that talking about? That's high school too. That's not, even, school too. Yep. That's not yep. even a new thing. Like, grown men with the door going, car seats in the back of the car, they were at our high schools and they were what? They were giving us money, taking us out, exactly. being our sugar daddies. And that's that was the culture. Exactly. And, and exactly. so now that's not y'all culture. And it is y'all culture because you have Cardi B. You have the city girls. Mm -hmm. You have all of these women still saying, mm -hmm. where the bag at? Mm -mm, where the bag right. at? That's what you have. Right, right. So, so you guys are still in the pickle. No, no, I'm not saying. See, the thing is, I ain't even put an age thing on it in terms of like, you know, but millennials are that, better. But that's with but that, women. That's what I'm talking about. But wow. that's the thing. Right. right. It's like, it, it's changing and I hope it continues to change and move no, forward no, because we need, we need you to guys understand it. You guys like don't even that. cook. You guys like Uber Eats. <laughs> Why are you always throwing people under the No, because y'all don't. Y'all don't yeah, cook. Not. Like not. Uber Eats, y'all y'all seamless. Like it's like what right. You don't have to and it's so true. We have been sold and bought the bill of goods that we have to be every woman. And no, you don't. No, you damn well don't. And I didn't even know that. Oh, okay. I don't even know how to not be every woman. But you know what? You shouldn't have to be because right. it's it's distracting. <laughs> you get uh, it's stressful. It's stressful. Anxiety. It's not really possible. You just can be a human. How, how about just be a human? Yeah, I agree. Come to the very end of our show. I don't know where the time goes. We were talking. We had some great conversation today. Yes, yes. But now we've come to the end. That's going to do it for this week's edition of What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban and lifestyle and entertainment news. Until next week, you God. guys should check out our website because we always have some really good stuff posted up there. It's yes, what's the 411.com. Yes, and hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the 4 and one TV. Subscribe. And remember, yeah, subscribe is that keyword. So, so subscribe and download our podcast. Podcast, and you can find that on Apple Podcasts, uh, Google Play Music, mm -hmm. uh, Spotify. Oh, we on Spotify. Yes. <laughs> Stitch your and tune in. Yes. Just do this. Say, Alexa, play What's the 411 TV. It's that easy. I'm Kizzy Cox. And on behalf of my co-host, Onika McLean, thank you for watching What's the 411. We will see you next time. Peace.